Now we've been out on the side of the Brightwater Influent Pump Station, and I'm here with, introduce yourself guys. Bruce Ball. Oh, speak project, up Bruce. Bruce Ball, project manager for IPS. And what were we doing out on the site today? We were giving Deb Harmon a tour of the... And you did a great job. Of, of the new pump station and influence structure. What we saw was the, the underground portion of the new uh, $120 million pump station for Brightwater, which is the main pump station, uh, or the only pump station for the treatment plant. And it will have a max capacity of 170 MGD. The pump station itself is uh, 80 feet deep when it's uh, completed and it will have a three-story building on top of that. So the influence structure, uh, which combines all the flows um, and of course converting it to the pump station. I started this project in late 2002 and right now, and so we finished design about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, all close to two years ago now. The influence structure has two sides. Part of it is the extension of the dry well and that's where all the force mains come from the pump station into the dry side and then into the tunnel. And the other side is the wet side and it's, it's like a giant mantle. So North Creek um, connector and there's another pipe in the central tunnel that will take all the influence flows into the wet well. So the bottom shaft there is the casing to the wet well. The upper shaft is actually going to be a yes. utility door between the dry well and the pump station oh, and the dry well in the influence structure. 